Welcome back Rust gang. If you're new here, my name is Bogdan and this channel is all about the Rust programming language. If that sounds interesting to you, hit the subscribe button for weekly Rust videos. Now, I constantly hear people complaining, Bogdan, I want to get a job in Rust, but there are no jobs in Rust. Wah, wah, wah. Well, today we're going to settle this once and for all, because in this video, I'm going to show you not one, not two, but three ways to get a job programming in Rust. Now, the first way is the simplest and most straightforward, and it's to directly apply for a Rust job online. Now, where would you apply, you might ask? Well, you have your standard websites like LinkedIn, Stack Overflow, Hacker News Hiring, and we even have a dedicated website called rustjobs.dev. The best part is most of these jobs are completely remote, so you can program from the comfort of your own home and avoid annoyances like commuting, personal hygiene, and human beings. Now, before you get too excited, there is one big con. The chances of you landing one of these jobs is slimmer than the chances of you actually making money investing in NFTs. First of all, most of these jobs are not entry level, so you better be a senior dev, a principal, or an architect and have 72 years of Rust experience. Secondly, we gotta look at supply and demand. Everyone that's programming in Rust wants a Rust job. However, there are only a few Rust jobs available. This means there's gonna be a high level of competition. You're gonna be competing with people that are very qualified while your qualifications include eight tutorial videos and a side project that you gave up on halfway through. Despite these barriers, this is the most straightforward way to get a Rust job. So at the end of the day, you might as well try. The second way to get a Rust job is a little more practical and it's to finesse your current employer into letting you program in Rust. To do this, you're gonna follow a three-step process. Step one is the next time your company holds a hackathon, do your project in Rust and make sure that it's cool enough to garner some attention. Next, after you've generated some buzz, you're gonna give a technical presentation about Rust to your team. Now it's very important that in this presentation you focus on the benefits of Rust and completely ignore all the cons. The goal is not to present a well-reasoned rational argument for using Rust. The goal is to brainwash your team into thinking that Rust is gonna solve all of their problems. The last step is to find the most senior engineer on your team and slowly convince them that rewriting everything in Rust is a good idea. In order to do this, you need high level inception skills. Okay, you need to go three levels deep. You need to be constantly sending them blog posts and videos about how great Rust is. And most importantly, you need to make them watch Let's Get Rusty videos. At some point, all your hard work is gonna pay off. And in a meeting, they're gonna suggest that the team rewrite one of your libraries in Rust. At which point you'll say, you know what? That's not a bad idea. And finally, you'll get your chance to program in Rust and you didn't even have to switch jobs. The last way to get a job in Rust is gonna take the longest and it's to start learning Rust while at the same time creating a YouTube channel about Rust, naming it something dumb like Let's Get Rusty and then spending years grinding out videos, making no money in the hopes that someday you'll be recognized by the Rust community and employers will come looking for you. Now, this is gonna take a ton of work and the payoff is uncertain, so I definitely do not recommend going down this route, but I list it here for completeness. And there you have it, three ways you can get a job programming in Rust. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you wanna see Rust videos every single week, make sure to hit subscribe. With that, I'll see you in the next one.